Today, I'm pleased to present you an overview on how European Schoolnet has contributed to bring positive change to Europe's education community. Let's look at our impact in 2022. We expanded our community of education stakeholders and provided our member ministries of education with an even larger network of policymakers, teachers, school leaders, trainers, students, companies, researchers, and international organizations from all over Europe. We opened our network to new partners from the industry in our future classroom lab ecosystem, new ambassadors at national level, and new stakeholders expressing their interest to be part of the education digital European community. Our activities focused on a certain number of areas, such as providing evidence to support innovation in education, offering new models of teaching and learning, bridging the STEM education gap, encouraging digital citizenship, assisting teachers' professional development, and also fostering school networking and collaboration at European level. Last year, European Schoolnet brought more than 50 projects to life and we organized 30 events to develop synergies and exchange of best practices. Our focus topics in 2022 were artificial intelligence in education, computational thinking, the use of data in education, and digital formative assessment in schools. We also tackled STEAM education and digital citizenship challenges at school and institutional level. In parallel, we also kept a close watch on the emerging challenges in education, such as the need to support teachers at the beginning of their careers or supporting the education community on how to address and manage digitally processed education data. To address these issues, we organized several webinars and produced a number of recommendations and guidelines. In 2022, we supported education professionals by offering them new opportunities to develop their skills and competencies. We could mention our European Schoolnet Academy, which organized 11 MOOCs on a great variety of topics, going from sustainability in education to tackling disinformation, cultural heritage, the usage of coding and programming in the classroom, or, for example, helping teachers to integrate science and mathematics in their lessons. As part of the 10th anniversary of our Future Classroom Lab, we invited school leaders to experiment with new models of teaching and learning, with adaptation of learning environments and creation of new learning labs. We also contributed to support the emergence of innovative education solutions. For example, helping the European Commission in the scale-up of innovation digital education solution as part of the European Digital Education Hub. As online technologies played a growing role in schools, especially after the pandemic, we participated in various European projects promoting a better internet for kids, fighting disinformation and ensuring that voice of children and young people were heard on the Safe Internet Day 2022 and all year along. We continued our supporting work, preparing and equipping teachers, pupils and parents with the right digital skill set required in the digital 21st century world. Being involved, for example, in the European Digital Skills and Job Platform and the Y Skills project, to name only a few. Being aware of the challenges to attract new talents to STEM disciplines, we continued the collaboration with our STEM Alliance partners to promote STEM education. Through the new STEM discovery campaigns, we reached almost 90,000 participants. Apart from that, we launched our Scientix TV series to reach out our entire science education community in a fun, attractive and engaging way. 
Last but not least, we provided direct support to schools in Europe. We supported school partnerships and networks by helping the European Commission to organize all the current services through the recently launched ESEP platform. In all its activities, European Schoolnet aims to create positive change and contribute to transforming education in Europe. Discover more about our impact in our latest annual reports.